Welcome to Portal Connect's Patient Portal Training Video. The practice you attend should send you an activation key to the email address you have on file. If you cannot find the activation key in your inbox, please check your spam folder. If you did not receive your activation key email, please contact the practice to have the email resent or email the Portal Connect support team at info at portalconnect.net or by calling us at 1-866-779-1526. Once you have your username and password created, please ensure you are using a desktop or a laptop computer for your first initial login. You can log in by going to our website, www.portalconnect.net. Once logged into your account, you will be presented with your home page with all of your account's recent activities. Your recent activities will show any updates or information added into your patient portal. You can select a recent activity to be directed to the new information in your account. If your practice offers medication renewal requests, you will see on the right-hand side of the home page under the title Links the option to select medication renewal by clicking on the blue link. Once selected, you will be displayed with a screen that requires you to type out the doctor's name in the To field. Please include a note, if necessary, and select the medication you wish to be renewed from the selection of checkboxes. Once finished, select the green Renewal button on the bottom right-hand side. The renewal has been sent once you see the brief confirmation next to the Renewal button displaying, Your Renewal Request Has Been Sent. Select Home again and you will see more shortcuts under the title Links to schedule an appointment, that is if your practice offers this online booking service. You also have the option to manage your personal health record, send a secure message to your provider, and to see my bills. If you received notification that you have a new secure message in your Portal Connect inbox, please select the Messages tab next to Home. This will display your inbox with all messages received from the practice you attend. Click on the message to review contents of the message. If you wish to reply to the message, select the reply option with the arrow displayed at the top of the message. You can also mark the message as unread and archive the message or print the message if you wish. If you have archived a message, it will not be deleted, but will go into your archived folder. If you would like to write a new message to your doctor, select the green Compose button. When composing a message, you must enter in the doctor's last name, and you will see the option to select from the drop-down menu once you start typing in the To field. Select the doctor from the drop-down menu, then enter in your subject title of the email. You can compose your email in the text box and have the option to bold your font and make your font italic or underline the font. You also have the option to add an attachment to your message from your computer by selecting Browse Computer Files. Or you can add an attachment from your library files in your Portal Connect account by selecting Browse Library Files. Once you are finished writing your message, select the blue Send button on the bottom right-hand side of the message. Once the message has been sent, you should see a brief message stating Message Sent. If you would like to double check that your message has successfully been sent, go to your Sent folder. In this folder, you will see all messages you have previously sent to your doctor. Moving along to the Appointments tab, once selected, this will display all of your upcoming appointments with the practice. If you would like to cancel an upcoming appointment, select the appointment date you wish to cancel, and the upcoming appointment will open. On the right-hand side of the page, under Links, you will see the option to Cancel Appointment. Select the blue link, Cancel Appointment, and a window will appear asking you if you would really like to cancel this appointment. If the practice has a cancellation fee, this also will be displayed in the window. If you would like to view any visit notes the doctor has shared with you, go back to the appointments and select the blue link Past Visits. This will display a list of all past appointments you have had with the practice. 
select the blue link with the date of the appointment to view the visit notes. If you only see the reason for visit stated, please message or call your doctor to request your visit notes be shared with you. On the right-hand side of this page, you also have the option to print the visit by selecting the blue link Print Visit. If the practice you attend allows booking appointments online and you would like to book an appointment with the practice, select the blue link Book Appointment within the Appointments tab. This will redirect you to a screen that allows you to choose the provider you wish to book the appointment with and the kind of visit you are booking the appointment for. Once you have selected the kind of visit, you will see another drop-down menu displayed to pick the appointment type. Once you have selected the appointment type, you will see the option to choose the date of the appointment. You can also find the next available appointment by selecting the blue link Find Next Available Appointment. Choose the time slot by selecting one of the white rectangles on the schedule. Please state the reason for your visit as this field is mandatory. Once finished, select the blue Schedule button. Once the appointment is scheduled, you will be prompted with a window confirming your visit has been scheduled with set doctor. If the practice has a cancellation fee, this window will also state the period of time you must cancel ahead of your appointment time, or you may incur a cancellation fee. Moving along to the health records section, if you would like to view any information in regards to your allergies, medical conditions, medications, immunizations, vitals, social history, and export, this section will display any information your doctor has added to your chart. And you can also add new information to update your doctor. Under allergies, you have the option to edit or delete any current drug allergies by selecting the blue pencil. You can also add a new drug allergy by selecting the blue link Add New. This also applies to the Other Allergies section below. Under the title Medical Conditions, you can add any current medical conditions you may have by selecting the blue Add button. You also have the option to remove any medical conditions from this section by selecting the blue X on the right-hand side of the condition. This applies for the past medical conditions section too. If you have had any procedures that are not listed in your health record, you can add them under the procedures section. Enter in the procedure name in the search box or by selecting the procedure from the drop-down menu. Then enter the date the procedure was made and then select the blue add button. Under the Family History section, you can add any members and health problems they may have or had and the age the health problem occurred by scrolling to the bottom and selecting the blue button, Add a Family Member. Once finished filling out the required information, select the blue Add button. You can also remove a family member or health problem by selecting the blue X. Moving along to the next section in the health record, under Medications, this will display any current medications you are taking. You can view the details of any existing medications by selecting the blue pen on the right-hand side of the medication line. You can delete the medication by selecting the blue X next to the blue pen. You can add any current medications that may not be listed by typing in the search box at the bottom of the list. Then select the medication that applies to you from the drop-down menu. You can add a note in this field and once you are finished, select the blue Add button. This also applies for the Past Medications section. If the medication does not appear that you wish to add, there is also a free text field under the Alternative Medications section where you can add to your health record. You can also add any alternative therapies you may have had underneath the Alternative Medications section. The next section we will cover in the health record is Immunizations. In this section, you will see your immunization history. You are able to view the details of your past immunizations by selecting the blue pen and then select View Details. 
If you wish to remove an immunization, please select the blue pen and select Delete. You are able to add an immunization by entering the vaccine name in the text box, and then choose the vaccine that was administered from the drop-down menu. Then fill in the name of the doctor who the vaccine was administered by and the date of administration. Once finished, select the blue Add button. The next section in the health record is the vitals. This section includes an overview of all your previously recorded vitals. You can also view a chart with your growth measurements, weight, BMI, and blood pressure. If you would like to export the chart in one of these sections, select the blue export link on the top right hand side of the chart. The next section is social history. In this section, you can enter in any information that the doctor you see may not be aware of. Once you're finished documenting in each text box, please ensure to scroll to the bottom of the page and select the blue Save button. The last section of the health record is the Export section. Within this section, you can view your overall health information summary, and you have the option to download the PDF version by selecting Download or you can download the XML version of your health information summary by selecting Download CCDA. The XML version can be imported into any electronic EMR that another care provider you may see may want for their records. In this section, you also have the option to send this information to a recipient, like another doctor, but they must have a direct address. To the right, if you select History, this will show all of your past actions within the Health Information Summary. If you go back to the Export section, you can also export your immunization record. If you need to view a document your doctor may have uploaded for you, please select the Library tab. This section will display any folders the doctor has shared with you. This section is defaulted to show you all folders. You select the drop down arrow, you can specify your search to a specific folder to retrieve the file you are looking for. If you know the title of the file that was uploaded, you also have the option to search the file name or date in the search bar. Once you have selected the file you wish to view, please select the blue download file button on the right hand side. This will download the file to your computer where you can open it to view it. If you would like to upload a file for your doctor, please select the drop down menu and click on My Uploads. Then select the blue Upload button on the top right hand side. This will display a window that allows you to search your documents in your computer. Select the document you wish to upload and press Open and the file will be displayed in this folder. The next section we will cover is the Labs tab. If the doctor has shared a lab with you, you will see this lab result in the Labs tab. To view the lab, select the blue link of the lab test and click on the link of the lab report you wish to view. This will open up the lab result in your web browser where you can download the lab or print the lab. If the lab report is not available, please contact your doctor's office or send a secure message to your doctor requesting that this information be shared with you. If you would like to view your profile, please select your name on the top right hand side where you see your display picture. This will open up a side menu of options. In the profile section, you can modify your contact information, occupation, and emergency information. Once you are done modifying the section, please select the blue Save button that will appear when any changes are made. In your profile, you can also select the blue link at the top that says Consents and state whether you would like to provide access to your medication history to the doctor. This also applies for the immunization registries. Moving along to the Payment section of your profile, in this section, you can view the last four digits of the credit card on file, and you have the option to update your payment information by selecting the blue link. If the doctor you see accepts health insurance, you can view this information in the subtitle Health Insurance. 
If you wish to make any changes to your health insurance on file, please select the blue link on the right-hand side stating send us a message. If you would like to modify your Portal Connect account's secret question or you would like to reset your current password, please select your name on the top right-hand side and then select Account from the side menu. You have the option to view or modify your secret question and secret answer on your account. If you would like to reset your password, you can do this by selecting the blue link Change Password. This will display the requirements for your password and will ask you to type in your current password and your new password twice. Once finished, please select the blue Save button. If your password was not successfully saved, it may be because you have already used this password previously before. Please ensure your password is changed twice before resetting your password to your original password that was created. Going back to the side menu, you have the option to select Memberships. This will show you the current membership plan you are on and the price of the plan. If you select the plan, you will see the date you are subscribed on, the duration of the plan, and the price of the plan. If you have a plan that allows multiple participants, then you will see the participants on this plan in this section as well. If you would like to read the terms and conditions, you have the option under the title Links. If you would like to view your billing history to retrieve any invoices you may need, Go to the side menu and select Billing History. This will display a list of invoices that were generated by your doctor. If you would like to view the invoice details, select the blue link of the invoice number. This will open up a window in your web browser displaying the full invoice which you can print or download to your computer. If you have any technical questions for the Portal Connect support team, you can select the Help option from the side menu. This will allow you to send us an inquiry by email. If you have an account that has multiple participants' medical information shared with you, you can also switch the participant's account by selecting the side menu and then by clicking on the participant's name displayed. To log out of your account, please select the side menu and then select Log Out at the bottom of the menu displayed. If you are using a mobile device, tablet, or iPad, please ensure to download our mobile app that is displayed underneath the login box. Please be advised the app is only available to patients that have already logged into their accounts and that have an active Portal Connect membership plan. That concludes the 2016 Portal Connect Patient Portal training video. If you have any questions in regards to your Portal Connect account, please contact the Portal Connect support team by either emailing us at info at portalconnect.net or by calling us at our toll-free number, 1-866-779-1526.